Hello my dear students welcome again today we will start with the same lesson weather and climate in the earlier lectures we have studied about the difference between weather and climate and also about the factors that determine the climate today we are going to study about the heat zones of the earth now as you know children the sun is the only source of heat for all the planets of the solar system our earth is 150 million kilometers away from the sun the amount of the heat received from the sun is different in different parts of the world the amount of the heat received at a particular place decides the degree of temperature now the heat energy that is received on the earth surface is unevenly distributed means that is why some places are very hot and some places are very cold why do we have this type of difference on the earth we see the difference in the degree of temperature and the climatic condition now why do we have the reason behind this is the rays the angle of the sun rays and the shape of the earth that the shape of our earth is spherical now based on the intensity of the heat our earth is divided into three different zones so today we are going to study about these heat zones you have studied about the latitude in lesson number 2 and also we have studied about the five important latitudes that is arctic circle tropic of cancer equator tropic of capricorn and antarctic circle now children let us see how our earth is divided into three heat zones now the sun rays now the sun rays falls vertically at the equator these are the vertical rays of the sun which falls near the equator so the places near the equator are very hot and as we move away from the as we move away from the equator that is as we move towards the pole the sun rays becomes slanting so here we receive slanting rays of the sun now children the places which are near the equator are hotter than the places which are away from the equator why this is because of the sun rays the amount of the heat received from the sun differs on the different latitudes so children the region so the now you know you know our earth is divided into two parts northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere equator divides the earth into two parts now the area the area the region between the tropic of cancer and equator is called torrid zone same way in the southern hemisphere also the region between the equator and tropic of capricorn is torrid zone torrid means extremely hot because this region receives the direct rays of the sun which keeps this region extremely hot throughout the year and so children we say that the heat received by the different places the heat received by the surface of the earth is uneven it falls unevenly on the earth surface that is because of its spherical shape 
so this is about the torrid zone now the region between the area between tropic of cancer and arctic circle or we can say the region between the torrid zone and the arctic circle is called temperate zone same way here also the region between tropic of capricorn and antarctic circle or we can say the area between the torrid zone and antarctic circle is called temperate zone now this temperate zone receives the slanting rays of the sun and so the climate is neither too hot nor too cold so here the re the areas in the temperate zone have the moderate climate now the third zone is the frigid zone which lies between arctic circle and the north pole that is frigid zone here also same way the area between antarctic circle and the south pole is frigid zone now as the sun rays falls very very slantingly means this region receives very less sunlight very less sun rays and so this region remains cool throughout the year so these are the three heat zones which are the these are the three heat zones based on the intensity of the heat received by the earth surface so today we have completed the lesson children read the lesson thoroughly and try to understand the concept more clearly thank you